hey guys welcome back to motherland rsa if you're new please subscribe and turn your notifications on and if you are a returning subby just chill and listen okay really as i can and i'm gonna try by all means to be concise now we've had lots of discussions me and my legal team my lawyers and i have been back and forth with us for months now you know we've been trying to figure out what to do how to do it um first of all i never wanted to open a, a case um but sometimes everything that you do in your power is not enough um because you cannot stop you know your justice has to be served at some point um whichever way that is i, I cannot be the one to dictate how and why and when so there is still a court case um, not a court case there's a there's a, a there's a, a case that has been opened it was opened last year it has not been closed i have not retracted in any way or form i have not expressed that to anybody um, i've seen that social media has a tendency of saying like somebody says something and then everybody just runs with it and that's not what has happened so there is a rape case and let me be clear it's a rape case the rape is of 2017 september it took place in limpopo and I won't really go into every detail, but I will give you guys some insight. I don't like going on social media to talk about my private life or things that happened to me. I try to keep out of um, social media and the streets and all that, you know, with my personal stuff. But sometimes it's out of your control like now. Um, I do know is that... Jabulani raped me. I did not give him consent. I told him to stop. And that's how I ended up in a relationship with him. It was not, hey, hey we are having sex. No. That's not what happened. And I couldn't fight him off because he's, he's huge. He's massive. He's bigger than me. I mean, I'm really short. You know? And I was bandaged. I was stuffed with painkillers. That's what happened. And I, ne I have never spoken to the press about this. Um, the dockets have been leaked, whichever way they've been leaked. But I do not speak to the press about this. I have not. Literally, i terrified because you, you, you don't know what's going to happen next. Um, he would tell, I once told him that he abused me. I said it. I said to him, you treat me abusively and you are it was morning we had never been alone together to to that extent where you could you could say oh yes now we can no um he invited me to his hotel room and i went because it was daytime and while this is happening um suddenly this person starts taking off my clothes um and he raped me of sexual activities have happened no one has spoken to me about oh my gosh let's have sex today there was nothing of that sort the relationship was so it was just a getting to know you type of situation i don't know what he told his friends i don't know what he told his family if any, any family was ever told i do not know the context in which he discussed me the only thing I know is the context in which he was to me. And I know this because I would... Anyway, let's forget about that. Because it's a fact. No sexual conversations, no discussions, no, oh, tomorrow, you know, nothing like that. This man had never seen me naked before. Um, it was just, you understand what I'm saying? Now, we get to this event and we are chilling and life goes on. Lardy, 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 lardy. Fast forward 
to around morning. This happened, I've seen a lot of conversations saying, um, this happened at night, no, it did not happen at night. I've heard a lot of people say things like, how could you ha um, continue dating a person that had raped you? There's so many things that I've seen on social media. Um, so I just wanted to just set the record straight today because I'm, I'm really exhausted with all the lies. Anyway, um, that morning we were making out. Making out is just kissing. Um, he had invited me to his hotel room. It was morning. We had never been alone together to, to that extent where you could you could say, oh yes, now we can, no. Um, he invited me to his hotel room and I went because it was daytime. And while this is happening, um, suddenly this person starts taking off my clothes um, and he raped me. I couldn't fight because I was in stitches. I was bleeding in my stitches because it was a normal thing. I was afraid of him and I didn't stop being afraid of him till today. Just the thought of him terrifies me. Anyway, go on. Um, uh, that night, I think that day, he kind of got me to go back to his place and it was fear. And yes, he terrifies me because he, he raped me. He's my, he's a rapist to me. I do not know how he has treated other people. I cannot speak for anyone else. I can only speak for myself. Now, he was, he, we never spoke. We never hung out. Um, we ended up breaking up because at that moment when he raped me, to me, it was like the most confusing thing. Like, what do I do now? Am I with this person? Am I not? You don't know if you've ever been in a situation like that. You don't know how to classify because no one's ever violated me before. Every person I have had intimate relations with has been consensual. We have had the conversation. And when we part ways, we part ways peacefully. And, you know, that's what it, that's what it is. So that particular instance, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel about this thing. I told somebody, because I also heard there's speculation, and he said that I came up <laughs> with a rape case, like I'm Lady Zamar. I have more to lose because I'm a black woman. I wouldn't come up with something that could destroy my career. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have told anybody. But it was no longer up to me. Um... So I kept on looking for a reason to leave and I found one when somebody DM'd me and told me all sorts of things about him. We broke up. When I went home, I got text messages from him saying, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm never to quit, I'm this and that. And me being the me I am, I, was, I had also blocked out the incident. It's hard to deal with. I don't think there's any woman on the planet that knows how to contextualize rape. 